You see the things that make your heart bright To be the church that you would desire You like to be seen Break down our pride And all the walls we've built up inside our earthly crowns and all our desires We lay at your feet So let hope rise And darkness trembles in your holy light And every hour see
Good afternoon, Church. For your tithes and offering, I will be sharing two reminders from the book of Proverbs. First, in chapter 3, verses 9 to 10. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruit of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing, and your vats will brim over with new wine. This is just a reminder that even at this difficult time, we need to honor God for our giving. Lahat naman po tayo yung nakaka-experience ng kahirapan. May iba na wala ng trabaho, karamihan patuloy pa rin sa pagsiservisyo. As Christians, may we always put God first. He will stay and forever faithful to us, kahit sa kahirapan o sa kasiyahan. May we honor His word and be faithful to Him through our giving. Second, even we are experiencing this hardship, there are more people who was hit harder than us. May we extend our hands to them, as said in Proverbs 11.25, A generous person will prosper, whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. As Christians, we are generous because we have a God who is generous. In our own very simple way, we could help. We could choose a family where we could share our blessing or be involved in community outreach. You could also ask our church leaders on the programs of how we could help others. As we are on an enhanced community quarantine, the church have opened an avenue for us to still drop our offering via our SGCM e-giving. You could fund transfer to our BPI account and GCash as flashed in the screen. And don't forget to send your proof of transaction and especially your prayer request to your leaders or any of the finance team member. The church is always praying for you. Come with me in prayer, Church. Heavenly Father, we offer unto you our tithes and offering. May this provision be extended to those who need Jesus in their lives, especially in this crisis. We also need to reach more communities, O Lord. And may your workers as well be sustained in their daily needs, as they will be bearers of your gospel in this season. I pray, O Lord, for protection for our provision. We bind any schemes of the enemy that may devour our properties, our businesses, and our work. Our faith will not be shaken by this pandemic because we have a God who is bountiful provider. Lord, we also pray for those who are in need, daily food in their table. Send them help from their families, from their friends, as well as from the government. We pray, O oh Lord, that none of us will experience and suffer hunger and we will be full physically and most importantly, spiritually. We also call for faithfulness and giving for your people May we always honor you with our wealth. You will just open the floodgates of heaven and fill us with a bountiful provision. And these provisions as well will be shared to others. In this season, O Lord, may our generous heart be an extension of God to those who are in need and to those who are crippled in fear. And we stand to be like Jesus. Wisdom, physical strength be also our portion. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good afternoon, church. Welcome to our online worship service. Let us know where are you watching right now. So if you're new to page na to, uh, in behalf of our senior pastor Ronald Bilang and the leadership team, we welcome you. And we are SGCM. We want to know God more and make Him known. Last Sunday ng ngayon ng series natin, Walking with God. And for those of you na hindi pa nakanood ng last three preachings natin, you can check later sa mga previous videos natin sa page na to. Or you can go sa YouTube natin, YouTube channel. We have our YouTube channel. SGCM Sambuanga. Like and subscribe na rin po. Okay. So let's go on sa verse natin. I know you are excited. Are you excited? Ayan. Comment naman kayo kung excited kayo. I'm excited. So let's go on sa verse natin. Isaiah 43, 18 to 21. I hope you have your Bibles with you. Holding your Bible with you. And open it in the book of Isaiah 43, 18 to 21. 
I'm reading from the translation NIV. Okay, let's start. Verse 18, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. So a little background sa, sa chapter na to is Isaiah's writing to the Israelites came to the bleak period of history. They are in captivity. They lost everything. They are homesick for the land and for the blessing God had promised them. So verse 19, see I am doing a new thing and this is what uh, the Lord is telling to the Israelites. See I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. The wild animals honor me, the jackals and the owls, because I provide water in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland to give drink to my people, my chosen. Verse 21, the people I form for myself that they may proclaim my praise. Today, I want to speak to you from the subject, walking with God in the new normal. Are you ready? Okay, are you ready? Give us a thumbs up if you're ready. Okay, let's pray. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, God, for this afternoon. We thank you for your word. Right now, God, give us clarity. Give us focus. And Lord, Holy Spirit, I pray for intervention. I pray you... You're going to speak to us in a very special and personal way, God. And I pray as you unveil your yourself, as you unveil Jesus to the very word, I pray that every one of us, everyone that is watching right now, will be renewed and will be transformed by your word. We believe in the power of your word. Your word is the only thing, is the only one that can makes uh, that can make our life better and i pray lord that as we listen to your word god we will not just listen it but we will apply it sa aming mga buhay salamat panginoon may you bless everything that we will be doing sa online service namin ngayon and even i pray for your servant i ask lord of you that you would going to speak through me Use me, Lord, mightily. Anoint everything that I'll be saying. And Lord, I thank you for this wonderful afternoon that you have given us, that we have gathered. And thank you for the gift of technology. We praise you. We adore you. We love you because you first love us. In Jesus' name, amen. God is looking for a walking partner. From the beginning of time, nakikita na po natin sa book of Genesis, God had a relationship with Adam and his wife Eve. God created man for fellowship. And this is a privilege for us. God created man for enjoyment of walking relationship that involves communication, intimacy, and joint decision making. Hey you. Yes you. God longs to walk with you. I want to repeat that again. God longs to walk with you church god longs to walk with us before he works through us god longs to walk with us before he works through us and i know all of us we have a desire we we all have the desire to walk with god amen po ba? amen but the question how can I walk with God in the new normal? How can I walk with God in the new normal? In this new setup, how can I walk with God when everything is online? Online service, online small group, online Bible study, online meetings, online work. And I know na lift na po yung ECQ, but all of us, we are still in the situation that we don't have a clue kung saan papunta tong sitwasyon na to. Sabi nga ni, ng isang kanta, God only knows. And I agree to that. God only knows. But you are here right now. And your desire, all of us, we want to grow. We want to be mature. But you felt stuck in your spiritual life. You want to do things that you normally do. 
Pag hindi mo nagawa yung feeling na hindi ka alive, na hindi ka nag-grow, yun yung feeling eh. Like pag Sunday, prep papuntang Astoria. Miss nyo na ba yung Astoria? Okay? Ready na para sa team devotional at 12, 1.30, mag-set up na to serve, 2.30 to 4, service time, and you're pouring out your heart to the Lord at umiiyak ka pa when, it, when, it, when, is, when we are all worshiping and uh, our hands are lifting high in the air. Worshiping the Lord, and after ng service, we we talk with leaders and yung mga Bible study natin. After noon, invite mo yung mga friends mo na kumain sa labas kasama yung jowa mo. Erase yung last part kung wala kang jowa. Okay? And so, what to do? We want to do things that we normally do. And hindi lang yun. Ang dami mo pang plano na nasira dahil sa pandemic na to. Plano para sa campus, plano para sa ministry, plano para sa future mo, pa, plano para sa pamilya mo, plano para sa kasal. Pero minsan nagbabago yung plano. Tama? Yung mga plano natin, hindi po plano ng Lord. Kung ramdam mo ako kapatid ngayon, kung parehas tayo na may hugot, comment down. Jan, comment mo ngayon, hashtag hugot. Okay? Church, I believe, hindi po dapat maging hadlang ang COVID-19 or ang ECQ sa ating relationship with God. Amen po ba? Hindi po dapat maging hadlang ang season na ito sa ating intimacy with the Lord. So, how can we walk with God in the new normal? How can we walk with God sa bagong sitwasyon na meron tayo ngayon? There are three things I want to share what God wants us to do in the new normal. Number one, forget the past. Sabi po dyan sa verse, makikita po natin sa verse 18, forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. Highlight mo dyan yung word na forget at saka do not dwell. To forget, it doesn't mean kalimutan mo na ang lahat. Okay? Mahirap naman yun. To forget, it doesn't mean total erasure. To forget, it means to stop recalling. To forget, it means to stop recalling. Do not dwell. Forget what? Sabi po dyan sa verse, forget the former things. And there are two former things in this context for the children of Israelite to forget. Dalawa po, past victories and past failures. God wants them to forget, number one, their past victories. The Israelite had many victories in their past. Leaving Egypt, they conquered the land of Canaan, fighting of prospective conquerors. They have survived a split in their country. And God wants them to forget their past victories. Do you have your past victories? So, winner of the year, past victories, no? Past the board exam overcome a struggle, promoted in work or ministry, nagkaroon na ng jowa, di ba? Yan, past, past victories din yan. So, I don't discredit your past victories. That's great. And I, and I also have my past victories. By the grace of God, one of the people who helped planted, I'm one of the people who helped planted church in Manila, started youth ministry and became a youth pastor and built leaders upon leaders in Manila, shared the gospel to many students, preached and being invited to speak sa mga schools in Manila. And I'm not bragging here. I want to make a point. God wants us to forget our past victories. Our past victories, they are great, they are wonderful. Praise God, hallelujah. They are beautiful. But, to be able to walk with God in the new normal, the question is not what God has done. The question na dapat nating itanong ngayon, what God is doing right now? That's the question. What God is doing right now? Ano ba ang ginagawa ng Panginoon ngayon? Kasi yun yung importante. To be more personal, I want to ask this. What is God doing in your life right now? What do you want Him to do in your life right now? Okay? 
You can answer that mamaya sa small group discussion nyo. And God wants them to forget, no? Number one, God wants them to forget the past victories. Number two, God wants them to forget their past failures. The Israelites failed God repeatedly. Kung babasahin nyo po yung Old Testament, every time God blessed them, ay babalik nila kay Lord evil things. Yung makikita mo, napaka-stubborn po ng mga ancestors natin. And siguro, tayo din sa sitwasyon ngayon, napaka-stubborn. God gave them a temple. They gave God an idol worship. God gave them His truth. They live and proclaim a lie. God gave His commandments. They live a life of disobedience. God gave them Himself, but they rejected Him. Rejected Him. So to be able to walk with God in the new normal, normal, God doesn't want us to be stuck. Stuck po sa ating past failures. Stuck in our past sins, stuck in our past disappointments or discouragement. Church, we all have our past failures. Ano bang ba past mo? We all have our past sins. We we all have our past discouragement. Maybe you are discouraged by your response last time. Maybe you are discouraged sa sitwasyon na nangyare. Maybe may, may nagawa kang kasalanan nung isang araw. And God wants us to stop recalling them. Yan po yung gusto ng Panginoon ngayon. God wants us to stop recalling them. What are the things in your life that you need to stop recalling? I have a little activity for you. Because I want this to be engaging. I want you right now to imagine. Imagine you are walking. Okay, imagine mo nga. And you're constantly looking backward. You're walking but you are constantly looking backward. Lagi kang tumitingin sa likod. What will happen? Okay, type mo nga yung answer mo. Anong mangyayari if you're constantly looking backward and you're walking? Sige, type nyo nga. Hintayin ko kayo. Okay, tama. Eventually, you will stumble or fall, right? Tama? Okay? Church, I believe God wants us to quit looking behind and start looking ahead. God wants us to quit looking behind and start looking ahead. We cannot, we cannot move forward if we are constantly looking backward. Amen po ba? Amen. How to walk with God in the new normal? Unang-una po, forget the past. So, kalimutan mo na si past. Okay? Hindi si pastor, ha? Past. Okay? So, number two, see the present. Okay? Verse 19. See, I am doing a new thing. Now, it springs up. Do you not perceive it? So, i-highlight po natin yung words see at saka yung do you not perceive it. Ano pong ibig sabihin ng perceive? Perceive means to know by seeing, care, acknowledge, or being aware of. Isa po sa mga napagtanto ko ngayon sa present situation natin, new normal, okay? Perspective is imperative in our walk with God. Perspective is imperative with our walk with God. Malaking bagay po yung pananaw sa Christian life natin. Paano ko po nasabi yun? Gusto ko po kayong tanungin. With our present situation right now, what do you see? Ano yung nakikita mo? Be honest. Comment your answer. I'd like to make it more personal itong tanong ko. What do you see when you view your life? Pagtignan mo yung buhay mo ngayon, ano yung nakikita mo? Do you see problems or do you see opportunities? Do you see impossibilities or do you see possibilities? Do you see despair or do you see hope? Do you see light? Do you see stones or do you see gems? Do you see water? Or do you see wine? Do you see 
desert or do you see forest? Ano yung nakikita mo? And the verse, kung, kung titignan po natin sa so verse 9, See, I am doing a new thing. And the verse doesn't just talk about perspective. It talks about new perspective. Kaya sinabi po dyan, new thing. And not just new perspective, it is new godly perspective. Nakasabi po dyan, I am doing a new thing. Baka may mga new perspective po tayo. Pero ang tanong, godly ba? Church, with our present situation now, sa new normal, nakikita ba natin ang ginagawa ng Panginoon? Malinaw ba? 2020 ba? Or malabo, di mo maaninag? Baka may mga dahilan kung bakit hindi po natin makita. There are many reasons why we can't perceive what God is doing in the new normal. Maybe it's because of sin. Baka may mga uh, hindi po natin makita yung gawain ng Panginoon sa buhay natin kasi baka may mga baby pa po tayong kasalanan. Maybe it's because of busyness. Paano maging busy? Eh, naka-ECQ naman. Wala namang ginagawa sa bahay. Pero busy sa kaka-Netflix, K-drama, online games, social media, TikTok, kaka YouTube at Shopee. Diba? Salamat Shopee. Wala nang salamat Lord. Salamat Shopee na lang. Kaya walang clarity sa gawain ng Panginoon kasi masyado po tayo nakafocus sa mga maka makamundong bagay. Maybe it's because of pride, hatred sa ating mga puso, unforgiveness or mga problema sa buhay or we're afraid. Maybe that's the reason. Iyan po yung mga reason. So, ano yung dahilan kung bakit hindi mo makita yung plano or yung mga gawain ng Panginoon para sa buhay mo? You can share it mamaya sa small group or discipleship group discussion nyo. You can share kung ano yung dahilan. Kaya hindi ko makita yung gawain ng Panginoon kasi may humaharang, may sagabal. So, you can share kung ano yung sagabal para mas makita mo yung plano ng Panginoon sa buhay mo. Ito lang po yun. May choice po yung mga Israelites. They could view their past, they could view their present problems, or they could focus upon what God wanted to do in their life. So, tatlo po yun. Pero, gusto ko pong sabihin ngayon. Today, let's choose to see to what God is doing in the new normal. The word of God says, He is doing a new thing. I am doing a new thing. Kung, nap kung nanonood ka ngayon, no? hindi ko alam kung ano yung pinagdadaanan ng mga mata mo, kung bakit hindi mo makita ang gusto ng Panginoon para sa buhay mo. But right now, Right now, kapatid, I speak forth to your life. I speak forth that God will open your eyes to see, to see wonderful things, to see heavenly things. Whatever your situation right now, your circumstances right now, I speak forth that the Holy Spirit will open your eyes to see beauty in that mess to see Jesus in that situation behold God is doing something new in your life Amen po ba? Amen Pakitag naman po natin yung gusto nating sabihan na God is doing behold God is doing something in your life how to walk with God in the new normal. Number one, forget the past. Okay? Kalimutan na natin si past. Number two, see the present. And number three, claim the promise. Okay? Hindi future, kundi claim the promise. 
So verse 19 to 21, See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and the streams in the wasteland. The wild animals honors, honor me, the jackals and the owls, because I provide water in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland to give drink to my people, my chosen people. Okay, and verse 21, the people I form myself that they may proclaim my praise. Okay, <clears throat> what are the promises of God that we need to claim in the new normal? I want to say this He is making a way in the wilderness. Ano yung wilderness mo ayon? Yung new normal, eto ba yung wilderness mo? Yung COVID-19, eto ba ang wilderness mo? And I want to preach to you today, God is making a way. Yes, He is making a way in the wilderness. Maybe matagal ka na dyan sa wilderness na yan. I don't know what's your wilderness. And you don't, you don't, hindi mo alam yung way out. As if na-trap ka na dyan at hindi mo na alam kung paano makalabas. Kasi bawal lumabas, di ba? But my friend, God will make a way when it seems there's no way. God will make a way. What the promises of God that we need to claim in the new normal, sabi po sa verse, He is making streams in the wasteland. Okay? Yan, gusto ko po makita nyo pong picture sa wasteland. Okay? Pakita natin yung picture sa wasteland. Yan po yung picture ng wasteland. Wasteland means an unused area of land that has become barren or overgrown. Dahil sa new normal, most of us, we are in the situation right now that we felt unused, unproductive, and we felt barren, lalong-lalo na po siguro sa area ng ministry, and soul winning. Kung describe kung i-describe po yung, yung ministry parang tagtuyot, walang bunga. We felt hopeless and useless. And for us pastors and leaders, we felt that. We felt that. If you're a pastor or a leader that you're watch and you are watching right now, God, I want to say this, God is making streams in the wasteland. God is making streams in your church. God is making streams in your life. God is making streams in your wasteland. God is bringing water in your life. Receive it. Sabi nga po ni Mulan, the flower that grows in adversity is the most beautiful of all. The, the flower that grows in adversity is the most beautiful of all. Church, if the wild animals, kaya po nilang i-honor ang Panginoon because He provides water for them. Sino ba naman tayo na hindi purihin at sambahin ang Panginoon na siyang ating tagapagligtas? Amen po ba? Walking with God in the new normal is claiming His promises in our life. Wala po yung future. Hindi po natin kiniklaim yung future. Kiniklaim po natin ang promises. Kasi kung walang Kung walang promises, meron kang ang future pero walang promises ng Lord. So right now, let's claim His promises in our life. Let God's promises shine in your life. Let it shine. Church, what promises of God you need to claim right now? Do you need strength? Sabi po sa Psalms 27.4 Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Do you need healing? Jeremiah 30, 17 says, But I will restore you to heal, to help, to heal your wounds, declares the Lord. Okay? Do you need forgiveness? Psalms 86, 5 says, You, Lord, are forgiving and good, abounding in love to all who call to you. Are you broken right now? Sad, depressed, Psalms 34, 17 says, The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. Miiyak ka ba? 
Psalms 107, 13. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and He saved them from their distress. Is your life filled with fear, anxiety, and you're constantly worrying about tomorrow? Number 6, 24 to 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. And the Lord will make His face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turns His face towards you and give you peace. Or are you experiencing trials of many kinds? Yung may problema ka tapos another problem na naman, another series of problem na naman. James 1, 2-4 says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sis sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. So, hindi lang trials, no? Many kinds. Because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Do you need God's presence? God's promise. He, he promised us that He will always be with us. Isaiah 41.10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dis dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you, and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Do you need courage? Deuteronomy 31.6 be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Or you are watching right now. You need salvation. You need eternal life. Jane, uh, John 3, 36. Whoever believes in the Son, Jesus Christ, has eternal life. But whoever rejects the Son will not see life, for God's wrath remains on them. So believe in Jesus. Believe in the Son of God. So what promises of God you need to claim right now? Claim it today. Declare it today. Open your Bible today. Okay? Open your Bible God's word contains thousands of promises waiting to be claimed in faith. So in conclusion, how to walk with God in the new normal? Number one, forget the past. Okay? It doesn't mean total erasure. Okay? Dalong bagay po yung past victories natin tsaka past failures natin. God is doing something new. Pangalawa, see the present. And lastly, claim the promise. So, there are more promises na prinami si Lord sa atin. Nasa Bible po. I-open po natin mga Bible natin. Church, our new normal is that we know God has gone ahead of us. And therefore, we don't have to be afraid of the future. God bless us all. And make your heart bright To be the church that you would desire You like to be seen Break down our pride and all the walls we've built up inside 
our earthly crowns and all our desires we lay at your feet so let hope rise and darkness trembles in your holy light and every Yeah. 